two people out there. This is Irene Cara, and I'm inviting you to join me on my first installment of my audio podcast, conveniently called the Irene Cara Music Show. <laughs> so this episode, we're going to focus on some tracks of uh, the latest CD uh, called Irene Cara Presents Hot Caramel. And this is a, a project I started working on the start of the new millennium, <laughs> because it's a double set CD. And I I had just the most enjoyable time working with a wonderful group of uh, mostly women musicians, but also some great male musicians as well, who joined us on co-production and arrangement and writing and all kinds of uh, wonderful sharing uh, between musicians. This is also the only place you'll hear a lot of this music. You won't hear it on Spotify or Pandora or any other online digital radio stations. You will only hear it on my podcast, music that you've heard from me before, music that is out presently, and music that you've never heard before from me, music that's completely new. And I'm so excited to be able to share that with a global YouTube audience. This first track uh, was first recorded by the great Petula Clark uh, in the 60s. Those of you who are old enough to remember, uh, you were probably little like I was, or maybe you weren't, maybe you were a little older. And uh, I had originally done a slow ballad version for a small independent movie of the same title. And we decided to do a dance remix of it. And it came out so good that we never ended up putting my version of of, uh, Downtown, the ballad. We ended up just using the dance remix. Uh, It was uh, really fun. And we did a whole retro approach to to this uh, dance remix done by wonderful, brilliant uh, uh, mixing DJ named Martin Andrette. Uh, So this is our version, my version, of Downtown.
that I live. Downtown's hard, it's more than it gives. And everywhere that I look, downtown's what's the same. Everywhere that I play, downtown's got its game. In the sky, I see me light shining bright. And if it's shining for me, will my life be right? I'm in the streets and I'm living, y'all. So welcome to my life. Yeah, I love that song. I I remember hearing it as a child often, and uh, my friend, uh, my engineer, just told me the reason why is because Petula Clark's original version came out in 1964. I was a child at that point. I was barely a toddler, but she had done several versions of it. It had risen to the top of the charts, number one on the U.S. charts and the U.K. charts, the British charts, so it was a big deal, and... Um, Several people have done different versions of it, including a, a dance version in 1984, which I knew I don't remember hearing. But there were so many great dance, you know, hits of older, prominent songs throughout the 80s. I wouldn't doubt that. Um, anyway, let's move on to Caramel Dreams. This this next track, I I wanted to have at least one song off this uh, new Irene Cara hot caramel CD that had a theme that was kind of, you know, a lot of my fans, when I started tweeting about working on the record and putting the band together, I mean, they didn't quite get what I was doing. So in order for us to have one song that would be like the band's theme song, not just about Irene Cara, but about hot caramel. And I thought, I thought, you know, let's let's do this. Let's write a theme song for the band um, that uh, when people hear it, you know, they 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 can think about. Well, they can. You can think about a lot of things. You can think about caramel candy. You can think about Nestle's. <laughs> but we would hope that you would think about us. Anyway, that's how the whole concept of this came about, and we wrote it right there in the studio. I started with just. A simple bass line, you know, on synth keyboards. And uh, Shonda Lee Bailey, who's our brilliant keyboardist and pianist, uh, you know, she worked it with me. And it started off mainly as this little hook, you know, this little bass hook with, uh, you know, a little keyboard thing going on. Audrey Martell, who has this luscious, gorgeous, silky, deep alto brilliant voice had just walked in um and replaced uh, another girl that we had been working with and i immediately fell in love with her voice she's also a very wonderful writer and um the three of us just clicked you know and that doesn't always happen upon first meeting someone <laughs> let alone writing and producing something for the first time in the studio so this song is special, not only because it is our theme song, but because we wrote and produced it, the three of us together, while we were in the studio. The first day we had all met, the three of us. So it doesn't get more magical than that. Here it goes, Caramel Dreams. Rainbow rising trips around the world. I'm talking words like. 
is a ballad this next one I'd, I'd like to share with you i'm a hopeless romantic for love songs i absolutely love love songs i love writing them i love singing them i love listening to the great ones and uh this song i don't remember who it was somebody i had a terrible terrible crush on at the time and uh i knew that it was hopeless and it's that kind of feeling that when you really feel an attraction to, you know, a, a certain someone that you, you know you, you'll you never have a shot at being with, that's when you get the most creative uh, as a songwriter. Um, this one uh, has also an, a lovely Latin feel to it. Uh, I love boleros, you know, these beautiful uh, Latin ballads that, that are heart-wrenching, but they're are often and always uh, sung in Spanish. So this one is sung in English. It features the great, and I mean just the top of the notch, acoustic guitarist out of Miami, Florida, Manny Lopez. And it's called How Can I Make You Love Me? A woman is all about love. <laughs>
So pretty to sing, so pretty to act. Um, I'm the kind of uh, singer who really needs a great lyric to to make a statement emotionally. So um, that's my style of singing. It's always been so, where it's more acting than it is vocalese, or vocal gymnastics. Uh, that's how I've always uh, put over a song, is through the emotion of the character. So uh, I want to thank everybody who uh, who worked on that record. Uh, Nick Martinelli helped co-produce it out of Miami, and uh, the girls did a beautiful job uh, with the background vocals. Uh, next, we're going to... Uh, hey, <laughs> folks, it's time for classic rock. Like, you don't hear enough of it on, on regular corporate radio. Well, this is our little take on some great classic rock by the Eagles. Um, so we chose the Eagles Life in the Fast Lane, <laughs> but we wanted to flip it a bit. And the interesting thing about this track, uh, I co-produced it with a uh, wonderful uh, musician producer, Andrew Lane, 
And uh, the interesting thing about uh, recording this track is that it features Cheryl Bailey. Cheryl is very well known, mostly known probably, as a brilliant jazz guitarist. But on this track and uh, a few others we have coming up, she gets to rock out. (laughs) And she is a mean mother as a rock guitarist. And it was great, you know, watching her just have fun with that on the guitars. So this is me and the girls, the Hot Caramel Girls, with Life in the Fast Lane. Check it.
Uh, this next song, again, is a, a, a ballad, except this one is even more tortured than How Can I Make You Love Me. This one is a movie. I mean, I may, have, I may as well have gone home and write, written a, a screenplay on this, but it was something that just when the muses grab you, they grab you. I spent all night writing this. I wanted to write something that featured two singers, uh, you know, that was like a duet kind of thing. And uh, lyrically, it it just came to me how difficult it must be to deal with a, a relationship that's falling apart. Maybe seven to eight, to maybe ten hours later, I remember watching the sun come up. Uh, you know, I had gotten it exactly the way I wanted it. Every chord progression, every section, every lyric, every melody line. And I was really blessed to have uh, just the iconic male voice, in my opinion. Uh, Wonderful vocalist Brent Carter joined me uh, on this one. He's, I mean, he's fabulous in the tradition of, you know, Donny Hathaway, fabulous, Luther Vandross, fabulous. We're talking about the kind of male vocalist that just makes you melt. So I'm very grateful uh, to have him uh, starring on this on this track with me. Chandelier's beautiful string work as well. And I'm struggling along on the acoustic piano. But uh, this this one is uh, this one's a heart wrencher. Kiss and walk away. From now on, I won't cry. Walk away from you now and just say goodbye. Been alone. Walk away from you now and just carry on We shared it all My love, winter, spring and fall My love, open our hearts and let love set us free It's so hard to let go Hide behind the bed Never let it show See your face One last time Knowing I can never swallow My pride No use in what went wrong I never wish you all Better to kiss and then just For me, how could I ever leave? Just put your faith Boy, in me. I'll try my best this time to fill you up inside. Oh, I'd give my life for you. There's nothing I won't do. No, 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 no. We shed it all, my love. Winter, spring, and fall, my love. Better to kiss than to judge.
So hey people, you've been listening to the Irene Cara Music Radio Podcast. Well, thank you all for joining me. This is my first audio podcast. I've had a good time. I hope you have. Go subscribe. Come check us out for the next installment. See you soon. Look at the mirror, that's what matters If not, your life breaks like glass and then shatters Blood.